To get started, let's get familiar with accessing the apps within Microsoft Teams. There's many ways to use apps within Microsoft Teams. For example, there are personal apps, messaging apps, team apps, bots and connectors, many more. In this series, we'll focus on four main categories of apps, chat and Teams apps, messaging apps, meeting apps, and personal or individual apps. Apps can be added to chat, a Teams feature that allows you to chat and share files with one or more people. To access a chat, click on the chat button on the left panel and select the chat that you'd like to use. The default features for the chat are at the top of the screen, chat and files, and occasionally your organization may choose to add more. Chat shows the conversation stream and files contains any files that have been shared between those people within the chat. To find other tabs, click on the plus sign and add more apps. You can view recently viewed, browse through the list, or use the search feature to locate a specific app. Another way to use apps is to add them as a tab to your team. A team is a specific space where you can have conversations with members of that particular space. Additionally, you can have separate channels for different topics. Navigate to your Teams button on the left, then select the team you'd like to work in. Here, you'll see a post tab, a files tab, a wiki tab at the top. To add additional apps, again, click that plus sign at the top and select the app or browse through the list or use that search feature to locate a specific app. Another type of app you can use is a messaging app. Messaging apps let you post a message in a channel conversation or send a chat message with information that's been generated from the app. This means that you can use these apps in both chats and Teams anytime you're using the messaging feature. To access a messaging app on a Teams channel, click the post tab and either start a new conversation or reply. Then locate the three dots you see. Here, you can browse for recently used apps or suggestions for apps. You can locate a specific app using the search tool or click on more apps to browse through various apps available. It works similarly in the chat. Locate the chat you want to use and underneath the messaging field, again, locate those three dots. Here again, you'll see recently used apps and suggestions. Again, you can use the search feature or browse for more apps using the more apps button. The third type of app is a personal app. Personal apps help you to manage your own personal information, such as your calendar or to-do lists, as well as third-party apps. To add a personal app, locate the navigation bar on the left and again, click those three dots. Just as you did with the messaging apps, you can view recently used, you can search for a specific app, or you can use the more apps button to browse. The fourth and final type of app that we'll review today are meetings apps. Meetings apps extend the capabilities of those meetings created in Teams. And when you're first creating the meeting, you don't have the ability to add the app. You can only add apps to already existing meetings. Navigate to your calendar button on the left side. If you don't see that calendar button, you may need to add it as a personal app. Then locate the meeting that you'd like to add the app to and click edit. You'll see various tabs across the top. Click that plus sign to locate apps you can add to meetings. Now it's best to use apps that are listed as optimized for meetings because not all app types work within meetings. Anyone invited to the meeting can add apps, but some of the apps have features that will only work for the meeting organizer. So it may be best for the person scheduling the meeting to add them to the app. 
When adding the app to the meeting, you'll generally be able to set up the app so it's ready for the meeting. To make any edits, click the app tab in the top of the window and make any adjustments that you need. Now that we've reviewed how to add apps to chat in Teams, messages, meetings, and add personal apps, we're ready to jump in and take a look at five great apps that will help you manage your team just a little bit easier.